This is the Kinetic Maritime Schools Powerboat Challenge. The aim of it is to draw together a community of local schools, partly assisted by STEM, which is a 16 to 19 year old outreach programme, and also by the Small Peace Trust, supported by RENA, the Royal Institute of Naval Architects. It won't come as a surprise to many people to know that there's a national skills shortage. It's very difficult to plug that gap right now, but what we can do is to start to look at people in the 16 to 19 year old age bracket, where the decisions they make now will actually heavily influence the GCSEs they take, the A-levels they take, and the degree courses or the apprenticeship routes that they take. Getting to this community of people and inspiring them about the, the excitement and, and, and also some of the rigour of naval engineering and, and technology is a great way of getting the, the early generation and the beginning of the pipeline of people into the business. There's always an excitement of having young, enthusiastic people who've not just turned up to put boats in a tank for a day, that would kind of be easy, but they've spent eight weeks working with staff, my staff, who volunteered their own time, it's been completely in their own time, to go along and coach them, not just in how to build a powerboat, but how to cost it, how to put together the programme, how to manage the time frame. So, you know, they've all managed to bring a powerboat here today, they've all achieved that on time. So it's the whole project planning and execution with the engineering and science theme that's really important to me um, and the excitement and the, the enthusiasm and the complete no holds barred approach that the children are taking is just absolutely inspirational and Kinetic are delighted to be involved and be able to contribute using a unique facility there isn't another one of its kind in Europe so frankly you know I sort of consider it a, a real privilege um, and almost a responsibility to, to help support this initiative.